Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to find the mean from an ungrouped frequency distribution table. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the mean from a grouped frequency distribution table. Mean from a grouped frequency distribution table. From a grouped frequency distribution table, the mean is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f. The f values are the frequencies and the x values are the class midpoints or the class mid values. In the videos on drawing frequency distribution table, we learned how to find the class midpoints and the class mid values. So I'm sure that by now you know how to find them because we are going to use that in this video. Let's apply this to solve a question. Let's consider this question. The table below shows the weekly wage of a number of workers in a company. So we have the weekly wages in one column and then the number of workers in another column. As we can clearly see, this is a grouped data. So we have 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, and 41 to 50. The question says that we should find the mean wage and we should correct our answer to two decimal places. To do this, we will draw a table with four columns. The first one will be for the weekly wage and the second one will be for the frequencies and that will be the F values. To get the mean, the formula is sigma Fx divided by sigma F. We have the F values here, so we will need the X values. The X values will be the class midpoints. With the X values, we can now find the fx values because the fx values will be the product of the f values and the x values. So now let's find the x values that are the class midpoints or the class mid values. We have learned that to get the class midpoints or the class mid values, we will add the lower class limit to the upper class limit and then we will divide the results by 2. So the first one will be 0 plus 10 divided by 2. That will give us 5. The next one is 11 plus 20 divided by 2. That is 15.5. The next one is 21 plus 30 divided by 2. That is 25.5. The next one is 31 plus 40 divided by 2. And that will give us 35.5. And the last one is 41 plus 50 divided by 2. That will give us 45.5. We now have the x values. So we can find the fx values. We will get that by multiplying the f values by the x values. So you have 4 times 5, which will give us 20. 8 times 15.5, which will give us 124. 12 times 25.5, which will give us 306. 6 times 35.5, which will give us 213. And 1 times 45.5, which is 45.5. We can now find sigma fx. We will have to add the fx values. When we add all of them, we are going to get 708.5. We need sigma f, so we add all the f values, and that will give us 31. So the mean will be equal to 708.5 divided by 31. And this will give us 22.85. Remember the question said we should correct our answer to two decimal places. And so we can say that the mean weekly wage is 22.85 Ghana cities. Let's consider another question. The following is a record of marks obtained by a group of 50 students in the chemistry test that was scored over 100. So we have the raw data here. 
the first part of the question says draw a frequency distribution table for the data using the interval 0 to 9 10 to 19 etc and use the table to find the mean mark so we have the raw data here which means that we are going to have a tally in our frequency distribution table i've already explained how to do the tally for a data like this in the previous videos so i'm very sure that by now you know how to do it so i will assume that you know how to do the tally and go ahead with the remaining part of the solution so we have our table here these will be the class intervals 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 it continues up to 90 to 99 the next column in the table will be for the tally. The next column will be for the frequencies, which will give us the F values. The next one will be for the class midpoint or the class mid values, which will give us the X values. And then the last column will be for the FX values, because we need sigma FX to find the mean. When you do the tally for the data, this is what you are going to have. And these will be the frequencies as I said I've already explained how to do this in the previous videos so I'm very sure that by now you know how to do that so let's go ahead and find the X values that's the class midpoint or the class mid values to get that we will add the lower class limit to the upper class limit and divide the result by 2 so the first one will be 0 plus 9 divided by 2 and that is 4.5 the next one is 10 plus 19 divided by 2 that's 14.5 the next one will be 20 plus 29 divided by 2 that will be 24.5 the next one is 34.5 the next is 44.5 the next is 54.5 the next one is 64.5 the next one is 74.5 the next one is 84.5 and the last one is 94.5 so to get a class mid point or the class mid values you add the lower class limit to the upper class limit and divide the results by two we now have both the f values and the x values so we can find the fx values to do that we will multiply the f values by the x values so for the first one, we have 4 times 4.5, and that will give us 18. The next one will be 4 times 14.5, that is 58. The one after that is 6 times 24.5, and that is 147. The next one is 6 times 34.5, that is 207. We have 8 times 44.5, that is 356. 5 times... 54.5 is 272.5 6 times 64.5 is 387 4 times 74.5 is 298 4 times 84.5 is 338 and the last one we have 3 times 94.5 and that is 283.5 we need sigma f x so it means that we have to add all the fx values when you add them you are going to have two three six five and we also need sigma f so we have to add all the f values when you do that you are going to have 50. we now have sigma fx and sigma f so we can find the mean the mean will be equal to sigma fx which is two three six five divided by sigma f which is 50 2 3 6 5 divided by 50 is equal to 47.3 so what it means is that the mean mark is 47.3 percent thank you for watching this video subscribe to this channel for more videos in the next video we are going to learn how to find the mean of a distribution by using the assumed mean method. Bye-bye.